Right, so today we are looking at r slash paradolia, which is essentially a subreddit for pictures of things that look like other things. Some of them are cool, some of them are freaky, some of them are beautifully artistic and majestic, but whatever they are, I promise you, they will scratch the pattern seeking part of your monkey brain. First up, I see a heart, some friends see an owl and one saw a monkey, what do you see? I saw an owl before I even read that, and I can't see really the heart of the monkey. Pig nose. Okay, I actually get a pig nose. I definitely see the snout there. What do you guys see? Tiramisu. That looks like the sorting hat from uh, Harry Potter. Ah, right then. The sorting tiramisu. So someone else thought the exact same thing. It's got the exact same face, like scarily. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. <laughs> Tarnish my copper cup looks like a shadowy figure with a child. Is that not intentional? If not, that's very cool. Slenderman, that's freaky. I thought that was quite cool, but with the Slenderman idea, now I don't like it so much. Don't cry, it looks like a crying old lady. How bizarre, that's such a creepy thing to put your kid in as well, like the face of a crying old lady. Dent kiss, stuff like that I find so cool, like what's that thing called in Japan where it's like fixing things with gold and it ends up being more beautiful? Ah, it's called Kintsugi or Kintsukuroi. Probably butchered the pronunciation there, but kind of like that, like, you know, something's gone wrong, something's broken, but arguably something more beautiful's found its place instead. You can't be mad at this stoplight with its cheeky little smile. Actually, now I've made this big, I actually don't know how wholesome that was. I thought it was a wholesome smile, but with the red eyes and the, the mouth's a little bit unsettled. That's starting to creep me out a little bit, I can't lie. If you litter, you won't like what's next. Oh, it's Batman! I mean, th this is the worst place for the judgmental Batman face, because it's like, I'm already next to the bin, I'm already putting it in anyway. Maybe it's for those people who go for like a Kobe shot and they just miss and they're just like, oh, I'll leave it. And Batman's there to look at them and be like, Pick it up! Bert from Sesame Street, that's so funny. I instantly saw that. But this guy, looks like him from behind. You earn you an upvote for me. Classic Reddit moment. Oh, Foxy, wow, that's so cool. I mean, this definitely looks edited, but yeah, the little nose and the way the eyes work, I think that's cool. Someone sees an owl. Yeah, I do see more of an owl. I think I read Fox first, and if I hadn't, I might have said owl, but that was pretty cool. Oh my goodness. I was actually really worried I was gonna have to scroll past that, but thankfully not. They are freaking massive as well. It's just a little bit. What a shot. Moo or oink? Oh, wow. I definitely saw the pig straight away, but now I do see more of a cow. The ear, the eye, the nose. Kind of got a pig's eye, but a cow nose. Moink. That's so cool. There's no way my house smells like we my house. It just does look like a high house. Goodness knows what's going on there. Is this AI generated? The whole house is about to fall down. I don't know what it's smiling for. It's also a really weirdly constructed one. Look at the roof. Like, why are the windows so weird and small? Maybe that's like architecture in a particular country I've just never been to. I'm sorry if I saw a cloud or dragon the other day. You know what? I thought there'd be way more of this in this subreddit. Cloud formations is such a common one. Even got like the teeth. The eyes, the dragon. You saw an alligator. Yeah, I see that. I prefer it being a dragon. Straw booberry in my back garden. I think this is the animal lover in me. I instantly saw like a weird like zoomed in thing of like an ant or like a fly. That just looks like an insect head. Yeah, it looks like an insect face to me. I love it when I go to the comments. It's so validating. It says a lot about who you are when you see an insect or a pair of boobies. Wow, this has to be faked. Water shaped like an elephant. There's no way that's real. With the little eye in the trunk. I'm pretty sure that's an actual elephant. Very, very good. This is so obviously a joke and someone going, the splash of water above its head is elephant shaped. Oh no, it's not shopped. Who's reliable? Hmm, okay, they've just posted more Reddit sources. I'm reliable. I can kind of see the water forming like that. The eye, oh, there's another little eye thing over there, so it's not too random. Maybe, what do you guys think? Wow, I like the ones that are in wood, like imagine having that on your floor. That's a better pigeon than I could draw with my free hand. Wow, I completely miss saw that. That looks like, yeah, it looks like a lady bent over. But that's the guy's leg and his helmet on top of his motorcycle. These birds look like musical notes. That is very cool. This terrier, I like that one. Look at the little dog. It's the like small details that I really like. In here, the, the like running rapid water is so like textured like a, a dog's fur coat. Even at a distance, if someone told me that was fur, photoshopped in, I'd be like, I would completely believe that. Then maybe it is photoshopped. That's one of my favorites. If that's real, which I'm guessing it is. I'm quite a gullible person though, you know, like I just naturally do just take people's word for it. Like if they just go, yeah, it's real, I'll just be like, oh, fair enough. As long as there's no need, like it, if it doesn't have any impact on me like this, I'm not gonna take time to research whether it's real and I just believe everything. Wow. Yeah, see, that's cool, a facial expression, I like that. This is one of the first images when you Google search the word pareidolia. I'm not surprised. Like surely when they had architectural plans, like they were drawing that and saw that, like surely you'd know building that that, that was what it was gonna look like. Oh, that's so cute. And kind of that's kind of terrifying. The poor little bird has such an, a worried look on its face. 
Hedwig. It literally just look, look, yeah, looks like Hedwig, like about to be boiled alive. Sorry, Hedwig. It's got so much emotion in that little beak and eyes. There's one very similar look like that that I really like. That's like a Scooby-Doo in a pint glass. Look at that. I mean, all of these could be fake, but I'm pretty sure that's real. What makes me think it's real is like things like the legs are all a bit whack. The tail's a bit long. So it's like, it's not done how you'd probably do it if you were trying to make a dog, but yeah, that is sick. Tell me you guys see him too. That is a weird... It's almost like he's giving us a little mushroom middle finger. That's Mangalore. What's this? Oh, I see that. A little bit. It does seem like a bit of an old sluggy character. Whoa, I instantly saw that Japanese lady in the box. It looks a bit like No Face from Spirited Away, but like a grandma version. Look at that. How bizarre. Yeah, it's got the same sort of like cheek and uh, forehead dashes. Slightly different. This thing is staring at me in my hotel room. <laughs> There was a long period on the internet where you just couldn't get away from Among Us references. And I feel like I've been cursed because this is about a year too late at least. The bubbles in the sink at work formed a buck. That is so cool. Look at that, the, the antlers and the nose. I like that a lot. At your service. I mean, that's a very bizarre looking couch in general. Who made that? I can't stop seeing two people, the top looking at the one below. Oh yeah. God, with the two eyes like staring down at this guy going like that. CCTV, that's surely done on purpose. They look so much like eyes and the little red. That honestly looks like an Among Us reference again. I was gonna say it looks like a fire alarm, which it probably is, but just to complete it off. This does look a lot like an alien. Eyes, nose, but the mouth looks a little bit pencil drawn on, which kind of ruins it for me. Oh. See stuff like this, when they first made this, surely they clocked exactly what it looks like. Feel like these little candle holders are supposed to be nice and relaxing, but that face is anything but. I still love you. No. Oh, that's cool. That's obviously done on purpose, but yeah, I rate that. Happy Chateau, wow, what a view. And is that real as well? This just could be AI generated, I don't know anymore. And this little old man, oh my goodness, is like an Alice in Wonderland character. Hello there. Literally, it is that emoji with the bushy eyebrows and the, the bushy moustache. Oh, and quite a creepy one. Plastic injection molding purge that looks like a melted brain. Freaky. Wow, that egg looks so much like Scream. Mm, again, it's been meddled with. Those eyes and that little mouth are just not natural bubble gaps, surely. Someone stabbed them, so. Oh, this concerned little coconut in the grocery store today. It looks like such a sad little puppy begging for food or begging to be pet or brought inside. This is honestly like an internet all-timer classic. The number of people that had this as their Facebook profile picture in Banner back in the day is crazy. Oh, and that's a creepy one, death looks down. That doesn't really even look like anything. It's evidently just a chimney, but the two little glowing bits for the, the eyes and this kind of like, scythe in his hand it's so freaky i remember reading that we sort of like evolved to have these pattern seeking brains because like you know if there are two of you walking through a dark forest and one of you goes oh i'm pretty sure that's a face i'm not sure and the other goes no nah, i can't see it and the person goes oh it looks like a face to me i'm gonna go back to the cave and the person who goes i didn't see anything goes through the woods and gets eaten by the lion or the tiger or whatever the actual face was so obviously there's a sort of like evolutionary pressure for that this sort of pattern seeking monkey brain to evolve but it just does mean that stuff like this or like you know when you're in bed at night and and you look at your chair and there's a bunch of clothes on it and you're like that just does look like a very overbearing scary character so although i love it i kind of hate it at the same time either way i absolutely love this subreddit so if it's something you want to see me do again let me know if there are any other subreddits you want me to check out let me know and uh make sure you subscribe for the next one thanks for watching bye